Hey, it's my SharePoint questions here. Today I wanted to go over two different ways to create meetings in Power Apps. So you have a V2, a version two and a version four and I wanted to go over the differences. So this is more of a continuation of my last Power App. If you wanna take a look at my last Power App, we created an Outlook meeting for yourself using the modern calendar in SharePoint. So today I wanted to go over the version two and version four of creating a meeting. So I'm here in the docs that Microsoft provides and you can see we have a version two calendar post item. It says it's deprecated. Um, this is probably deprecated in Power Automate. You can still technically use this in Power Apps. Maybe it's not a good idea, but we're gonna talk about the difference between version two calendar post item and then version four. So version four, there's a, there's a few different things. They want you to use UTC time. Uh, they also require you to say which type of time you're going to be using. So if you see you know, an example, they're, they're converting the date. The example date is formatted in UTC time. Uh, there's also, you, know, you can look through all the parameters. You can have required attendees, optional attendees. Body location is an all day event. So all of these uh, parameters you can use in your Power App. So if you wanted to kind of take a look at all of this stuff before you pull it into Power Apps, you can come into Power Automate and do the create event. You can kind of look at, you know, if you want to change the times. This is where I got UTC co uh, coordinated time. So if you see right there, that's how you know what is the right text to write in. UTC coordinated universal time. You can kind of come into Power Apps and it will fill in the blanks for you. So you can say yes, show as. This gives you the different options. Reminder. So this is just a big tip. If, if you're lost about what you want to write into Power Apps, come to Power Automate. Pull up this uh, Create Event V4 and you can actually kind of come in here and, and see, you know, what are your options? Importance, normal, low, high, all day event reoccurrence you can kind of come in here and you know choose what you'd like so let's get into the power app I have a calendar here in SharePoint I added a couple more fields since last time I added participants and subject so the subject will be the subject of our meeting and participants is going to be who's invited so last time we used V2 for our yes button. So if we come in here and we press play, you'll see I have a yes button. And in this yes button, we're using version two calendar post item. So let's go ahead and convert this to V4 calendar post item. And so you can see we have a red squiggly, right? So we're missing time zone. You can see it's highlighted time zone here. So we gotta be a little careful. We're gonna go to the date part, the start, we're gonna change it to UTC time. So text parentheses at the end of the zero here. We're gonna do comma UTC. We're gonna do the same thing on the end date. So text comma UTC. And then now for the time zone, we're gonna say print uh, quotation marks, then UTC coordinated universal time. I believe that's the correct way to do it. And then the importance uh, show as busy. So I'm gonna put this in the description for you. Now in here, we actually have a few more uh, options. You remember if we go back to the Microsoft doc, you know, we have our parameters. All of these we can fill out. And today pretty much what I'm just gonna do is body and we also want response requested because we want to make sure if people will say yes or no to join the meeting. And then finally, we're going to do uh, required attendees. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say no here. I'm going to add a couple of fields to my form. So I'll go to edit fields, add fields. I created a couple more. And those are participants, and I named it subject. Subject, all right. 
So I'm going to add those to my forms. Move this button down. I'll move subject up and I'm going to make it a multi-line text. So I'll just change the mode to multi-line and give it more space. All right, so let's go back to the yes button in my add to my Outlook calendar. So if we go to yes, we have a couple more options in our curly brackets here, right? So required attendees. Text. Oh no, here we go. Required attendees. So what I'm going to do is that participants is a people picker, right? So I want to pull out the emails of them and put a semicolon between each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a concat statement. And I've, I've shown this in many videos before. As we're going to do concat, we use the participants. So if we look on the left side here, data card value four. Oh no, data card value two. I deleted one. Data card value two dot selected items dot email comma email and we're going to concat them by a semicolon for email and then we have another comma in there for importance then we're going to add one more thing and that's the body right so the body is going to be the subject data card value three dot text of our email we have one more thing and that is we saw it in the documents before it's the response requested we want to say that's true so let's go back so so we actually want this to be response let's see response requested and we want true All right, so if we want to test this out, we'll say meeting invite number three. I'll just put something in there. Let's try the 15th of October. This is the subject to an amazing meeting. Now, because I do have a dev tenant, I don't have many people I can invite. So I have myself another user that I've created. So send to myself and Bart Simpson. I click add to my calendar, I hit yes. It's gonna send an email to Bart Simpson if he had an email address, which he doesn't, but it's okay. And that meeting invite is gonna to go to my calendar. You can see it right here. Went straight to my Outlook calendar. This is Outlook on the web. You can see that it has been added to my Outlook calendar. This is the subject of amazing meeting. We have the title, the date, etc. So I hope this video helps you guys out. We now have created our own task for our own calendar and we also have a meeting, a meeting invite uh, that we've also put into our own calendar. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.